Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It is always good to be greeting you, bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. Thus, the reason why I want to speak to you today concerning how ideas control the world and how you are responsible for your thoughts and your actions when you come to the realization that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously. So my brother and my sisters, let me get into what I really want to say to you by first of all letting you know the basis of my teachings. Okay, I always teach from the Bible, not as a preacher or one who believes in secular Christianity, but one who understands that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history, and that the Bible is written symbolically, and it has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago. I want to make sure establish in your mind that from the beginning to the ending of the Bible, that it's all a great psychological drama and it all has to do with the human psyche. So with that being said now, I can go on to the reason why I really want to get this message across to you concerning ideas controls the world. Now, most countries where you have people that are living in poverty and mediocrity, most of the time they have a religious mentality and an academic education mentality also. Which means they've been taught in school to believe in education more than their own imagination. Now when we look around, we see everything in this world. It was forced a thought. It was forced an idea. It was forced imagine. Also, all the religious people around the world believe in a creator. They believe in a savior. They be believe in a redeemer. But when we look around, the things that we depend upon for survival in this world, they were all forced a thought, they were forced imagine, they were forced an idea. When we look at the ones who runs the systems of the world, for example, the educational system, the religious system, the political system, we realize that before any of these systems could have put, be put in place, that it had to first be a thought or an idea. It had to first be imagined. Therefore, I want to show you how much religion has been used to brainwash you from getting in touch with your creativity, your real ability, your true identity, which is your divinity that will teach you that you can create consciously and that you have a creative power in you that you can use to achieve your every desire. Now, the main thing I want you to take away from what I'm teaching you here is that the only creative power that there is in this world is the power of imagination and that there is nothing that has ever been made that wasn't first imagined and there's nothing that would ever be made that must not first be imagined. Now, we all use the computer. We all use the internet. And I'm actually taping myself here and a camera. And all of these things, they were first an idea. Many people speak about certain families that run the world. And these families, they have a lot of money, a lot of wealth, they have a lot of influence. 
But everything that they would have ever gained, it was still for us an idea. It was still for us a thought. It was still for us imagine. Even our existence, it came forth from a thought, an idea, or from imagination because our mother and our father, their action that they took to be involved in the act of sex to bring us here, it was for us a thought also, it was for us an idea, it was for us imagine, which is to teach us that we are thought evolved beings. Therefore, we have to bring everything that we desire in this three-dimensional world from understanding how the mind works or understanding how thoughts works and what is an idea and how an idea becomes a reality. That's why my brother and my sisters are always take the time out to show you that your brain is a transmitter and a receiver of frequency. Therefore, you must understand that everything is energy, vibration and frequency and that you are actually a mass of energy so if you never realize that you're a mass of energy and that energy can never be created or destroyed energy can only be transformed or transmuted into another form you will never understand yourself and understand your whole existence so my brother and my sisters even now as i'm speaking to you it's a vibration and i'm sending out a vibrational frequency and you are receiving that vibrational frequency and you're listening to me right now because you are on a certain frequency also everyone has a, a, a phone or a computer or, or a radio and they all work by frequency and all of these things came from the mind of a man therefore it is telling you we work by frequency also Remember, my brothers and my sisters, that there are certain laws that governs the universe and certain laws that governs humanity also. For example, I'm going to be very simple with you. If you look around, you'll realize that the divine law of reproduction is that every seed and every speech will all reproduce after its own kind. And I did a book on that. I wrote a book called Can't Be Proven Wrong by Any Christian. Why work with that one law? The law of reproduction that every seed and every species reproduce after its own kind because you cannot check that law. You cannot plant pumpkin and reap watermelon. You cannot plant corn and reap beans. It doesn't happen that way. No one can change it. And so because of that, whatsoever you sow is what you would reap. And as you think, so shall you be. And that is why my brother and my sisters, it is your own thought that is creating your personality and will always continue to create your reality. So when you look into a God, a creator, outwardly, you are defeating yourself by giving your power away and so you would be kept in a state of always wanting to depend on someone else when you can depend on the power in you that is connected to each and every one because we are all connected we all use the same one power the same power that puts me to sleep and wake me up is the same um, power that puts the Pope to sleep and wake the Pope up also it is the same power that put the Queen in England to sleep and wake her up also so my brother and my sisters there's no hierarchy system there is no aristocracy the only aristocracy there is is the aristocracy of the spirit that is why you have to discover your higher self your true self and embrace and love your higher self your true self so my brother my sisters ideas will always control the world so the people who depend on ideas instead of depend on the brainwash they receive in school or in church or what they receive from their parents they are the people who will be most successful in this world and all the systems of the world have been controlled by people who understand the power of ideas so my brother my sisters change your mindset and learn to look within yourself practice things like meditation and visualization and ideas will come to you that is why whenever you use your imagination to create your reality consciously you're not supposed to be thinking about how it will be done or when it will be done the way will come to you how does it come to you it come to you by ideas 
okay we have the automobile everyone want to have a big ride some everyone want to drive a lamborghini some want to to to, to drive a porsche some want to drive a corvette you know and all of these things are actually ideas that have been manifested and so my brother and my sisters even the money that they have you working so um so hard for it's an idea that has been manifested and every one of us receive ideas every one of us receive also pictures in our mind every one of us can close our eyes and picture something so my brother and my sisters that's the reason why i always point you to look no other place but to look inwardly there's no other place i can point you to but to look inwardly to discover your savior to discover your redeemer to re discover your helper and my brother and my sisters that's when you will discover that it truly the kingdom of god is within you and when you for seek after the kingdom and find that kingdom all these things will be added unto you because you realize the power of having ideas the power of setting goals and dreams in your life but you have to know what you want most people do not know what they want you have to know what you want in this world you have to know how you would like to influence society or influence the world or humanity you have to know all of that you have to know what you are good at and work with that which you good at and that which you love because when you do that which you love uh, and that which you are very good at also it doesn't seem to you like you're doing a job okay you're just doing something that you love to do but you're being rewarded highly for doing something that you love to do so my brother and my sister there's no greater thing i can bring to you than this message of self-realization pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity so with that being said my brother and my sister i feel real good bringing this message to you because i know what i am doing here is purpose it's calling it's what i've been born in this world to do and i'm so glad that i can do it i didn't think about how well can i speak and and how would people think and i was i i i wasn't studying all of that because when I come to my awakening, people call me crazy. People say that I'm mad. That's why I gave myself name, the Black Mad Guru. But my mad, as in M-A-D, actually mean mystically adept divinity. That's why when you go on my channel, you will see Black Mad Guru mad. Then you see mystically adept divinity. That's what my mad means. They're, they're mad have some other meaning, but I know what my mad means. Okay? I know that I'm a divine infinite being i had no beginning i have no end i had no mother no father no ending of days i am of that melchizedek lineage and you have to claim it for yourself to be aware from that one lineage so my brothers and my sisters my encouragement to you is to work on yourself and depend on the power in you to bring ideas to you and that is why you must not allow nothing more than five seconds to pass before you have your ideas written down many people get ideas and they refuse the ideas that they do not work on the ideas at the same time by writing it down and they're always struggling they, they hear all of these messages and nothing happening in their life because they do not act on ideas they fail to realize how powerful ideas are that everything comes from idea and the ideas will always control the world the people with the greater ideas will always be to the top of the pyramid so my brother my sisters this is just a wake up call for you to wake up okay so with that me say my brother my sister i want to thank you very much for listening to me and i want to say if this is the very first time that you listen to me what i am saying to you that is really resonating with you and it's making sense to you i would like to say to you if you haven't subscribed already to subscribe to like to comment and to share this video but just before i leave you i just want to remind you that this message i bring to you that it is the single eye message of self-realization of which matthew 6 22 says that if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and truly my whole body was filled with light when a single eye awakes within me when i awake from the dream of life and change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye having heard the unearthly wind and a saying like a fiery being after that great and mighty shaking that great earthquake and burst my crown chakra came out of my skull and became invisible 
then I realized I have to share this message of the invisible to the rest of the world by experience. That is why I always say to you, which I am, that which I'm speaking to you, it's not theory. It's based on what I would have experienced. This doesn't base on belief. As Christians have all the, these different beliefs that were taught to them from their parents and their, 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 their teachers, their, their uh, religious leaders and so on. This thing wasn't taught to me. So the greatest mystery can never be known intellectually. It must be experienced. That's why I always say to you that when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun as in the S-U-N do parallel the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And you're told in Psalms 84:11 that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And truly the Bible is the sun book. And the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity. Doesn't matter who you are. And the sun is what gives it energy to all of humanity. Humanity cannot live without the sun. Not the S-O-N, not a, not a man 2,000 years ago. So this message right here is actually exposing the lie of the Virgin Mary and Jesus' story because no S-O-N could ever exist unless there was be the S-U-N. It's basic common sense. So no S-O-N could be the light of the world. That's why you're told, let your light so shine before the world that they may behold your good works and glorify the power in you, the creative power in you. Everybody glorify computer, glorify money, glorify all of these things. And they all came from what? An idea. So my brother and my sisters, that's the reason why also you told in Malachi chapter 2, chap, sorry, in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2, that the son as in the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. So if the son of righteousness is going to arise in you with healing, in his wings. It means that righteousness is not something that you attain. Righteousness is something that you discover. And that is why my brother and my sister, when the sun has risen in me, I am bringing healing to humanity, pointing each and everyone to look inwardly, saying to you, to always use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire and prove for yourself that ideas control the world depend on the ideas that have been given to you to tap into your ability and your creativity so you'll be able to serve humanity in a positive way so with that being said i want to say peace love you all i'm out